Dear friends, welcome to the Wednesday Word on Wednesday the 18th of January. At the 10 o'clock at St Matt's on Sunday, we thought about Moses' encounter with God at the burning bush. His first experience of God, as far as we can tell. But there is so much more that we could say about this extraordinary event. Today I'm going to focus on the five objections that Moses raises to God sending him to Pharaoh to bring the Israelites out of Egypt. I wonder if you might relate to these five protests if God is calling you to do something for him and find in God's answers a word that you need to hear. His first objection is, who am I that I should go to Pharaoh and bring the Israelites out of Egypt? God's response is that he will be with Moses. None of us feel worthy or qualified when God calls us to serve him, and that's just how it should be, for we're not worthy or qualified. But God's presence with us by his Holy Spirit, his treasure in jars of clay like us, enables us to do what we should not and cannot do. Secondly, Moses says, if they ask me, what is his name, what shall I tell them? To this question, God reveals his name, first as I am, the eternally ever-present God, who like fire demands our submission to him, but also as the Lord, who keeps his loving and gracious promises to his people. We must sense the power of I am to make us do what he calls us to do, but also the love of the Lord, whose promises encourage us to do it. Next, Moses says, what if they don't believe in me or listen to me? God's reply to this concern is dramatic. He turns Moses' staff into a snake and then back into a staff again. He makes his hand leprous and then he heals it. He says that he will turn the water of the Nile into blood as in prediction of the first plague. Now, we don't have the power to perform such miracles, but we do have Jesus with us by his spirit who promises to move mountains and to work wonders in answer to our prayers. Then Moses said, I am slow of speech and tongue. Well, God reminds Moses that he is the maker of his mouth and ears and eyes, and he will help him to speak and teach him what to say. This is another wonderful encouragement to us when we feel that we could never speak for God. In fact, Jesus promises that when we do not know what to say, he will give us the words. And then finally, Moses says, Lord, please send someone else. Not surprisingly, God is angry with Moses at his lack of faith, but that doesn't stop him from graciously and generously giving Moses a companion to go with him, Aaron, his brother. Jesus sent his disciples off in pairs, and so often God wonderfully gives us co-workers as companions and friends who make it possible for us to do what we could never do on our own. Now, I've, had, I've made many similar objections when God has called me to serve him, but his loving, patient and kind answers have enabled me to do what I've not felt able or qualified or equipped or even willing to do. And I've often been amazed and humbled by how he has used me. So what is he calling you to do? God bless you today.